didn't. He did. Why? Because he's a tosser. What did you do? Nothing. I was in shock. Oh, what are you two bawling about? Gordon, we've been bawling for the last 10 minutes. Haven't you been listening? I make a conscious and subconscious effort to ignore all that is loud and obnoxious, which is why I abstain from politics. You should make an exception on this one. Thomas has had a very rough morning. Let me guess, you and Kate broke up again? Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter. I had a run-in with Farmer McCall. Old Mongrel McCall? How's he still around? Plug convenience. Of course. All right, what happened? He kicked my ass! He what? You heard me. He kicked my ass right at the backside. That's absurd. What's Tigger ever done to him? Nothing. But he couldn't give me the boot without breaking his foot, so he went for my pet. That is disgraceful, disgusting, and despicable. This calls for immediate action. I didn't expect your dinner to be so riled up by this, Gordon. Edward, there are three things I cannot stand in this world. Animal cruelty, intolerance, and the French. You want immediate action? Do you have something in mind? Indeed I do, and it just so happens it involves giving my new pet some exercise. I say, Mr. McCall, what do you want? I would like you to apologize to my friend here for your brazen assault against his pet. No, sir, I am giving you a chance to be civil. I don't care, I ain't apologizing, so shove off. All right, if you want to play the brute, then so shall I. Oh, Chesterfield. That man wrote the final episode of Game of Thrones. Arr, serves him right. You think Gordon would be willing to let me borrow Chesterfield for a bit? There's a certain engine I'd like to introduce him to. I don't know what you're so upset about. You said you wanted a pet for your birthday, so I got you one. You got me a duck! Did you think you were being clever or funny? No, I thought I was being clever and funny. You weren't. You were being insensitive. That's calling the kettle green. You got me a weasel for Christmas. A flipping weasel. You two need marriage counselling. What about you, Salty? You got any pets? You can be sure I do. This here is Polly, me pet lobster. I know it'll sound ridiculous, but I don't care. Polly want a cracker? No, Polly wants a biscuit. Huh? Guys, guys, guess what? You found some intelligence? What's intelligence? Never mind, Eric. It's nothing you'll ever have to worry about. Haven't we already made that joke? Shut up. So what's got you all excited, Eric? I got a new pet. You want to see him? No. Okay, then. Come here, Sprinkles. Stand perfectly still. Its vision is based on movement. Edward, we weren't moving anyway. Oh, right. Um, Eric, where did you find Sprinkles? We've made him. What do you mean, made him? I don't know. I couldn't follow what he was saying in between the evil cackling and talking about science triumphing over God. No matter. I've got big plans for Sprinkles. With him, I'm going to bring a whole new meaning to T-Bone Steak. I've already worked out the ad campaign. Pause the video and have a read. No, no, Sprinkles, stay! Where are you going? He's heading towards the preschool! The less I say about what happened next, the better. I hope they can keep Sprinkles contained. I wouldn't want him turning Nelly into a meal. About that, Henry, can you please move her out from behind the shed? Only if you're willing to move your bees out from inside the shed. They like the warmth, and she likes the privacy. You think there'll be room for my new pet? Your new pet? I thought you already had one. A cat, wasn't it? Smiggles. I had to replace him. How come? You shot him. Oh, right. Now I remember. But, but in my defense, it was the kindest thing to do after he'd been run over by that train. By your train, Edward. Yes, yes, my train. But that too was an act of mercy after he'd been hit by that car. By your driver's car. Yes, yes, my driver's car. But don't forget he'd also been mauled by that dog, your fireman's dog. Yes, yes, my fireman's dog. But we can't forget how- Edward, just stop. Yeah, yeah, I really should quit while I'm behind. Don't worry about it, Edward. I'm getting something a lot tougher than a regular house cat this time. And it should be arriving right about now. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. This is because of Tiger King. No, I haven't seen that. Where'd you even get a tiger from? From this woman in America, a conservationist named Carol Baskin. A bit of a nutter, but she offered me a good price for this tiger. And I do mean this one. She almost seemed desperate to get rid of him. Not sure why, but... Guys? Guys? Where'd you go? <coughs>